What is going on, everybody? I don't know why I always close my eyes whenever I say what. Like, I'm like, what is going on, everybody? My eyes are completely shut. Anyways, bringing y'all a Castle Clash video on my main account. It's been a while, but I'm not going to be doing too much on my main account. Uh, I'll show y'all my heroes and whatnot, but what this video is mainly going to be about is discussing uh, free-to-play heroes. Okay. Uh, free to play heroes and players trying to help y'all out into what heroes y'all should use. Like, if y'all don't have, uh, like, those crazy heroes, you know, the crazy, really, really good heroes. As far as you don't, you don't have any luck, you're, you're just an unlucky person. You don't have the, you don't have the money to buy the gym heroes, you know. Just, you're, you're, you're just in a, you know, you're very unlucky when it comes to rolling heroes. You're just, you can't roll a good hero. So, in this video, I'm going to try my best to explain to y'all the best heroes to use from top to bottom, okay? Bottom meaning the ones that you're having to pretty much shard to get, top being the ones you get really lucky in a gem roll with, okay? So, let's get into the video. Let's see what we can learn today. So, guys, okay, so we're going to act like we have six, we have, everyone has six heroes, okay? This is a six hero base right here. Um, I'm not going to be using five, I'm just going to be using six, okay? Because eventually everyone's going to have six, so I don't want to do five, so yeah. Anyways, so um, let's start with a hero to put on the outside of like the corner of a base okay a corner setup so like on the the outer outer edge of your base i guess you can say that that can uh attack long distance okay so a hero you want for that kind of setup you don't want a hero that's going to run and having to attack someone from a long distance and jump over the wall and attack right so you don't want like a pumpkin duke or a skull knight or nothing like that on the outside you're going to want like a you're going to want like a vlad uh a santa boom you're gonna want uh, Druid, um, Cupid, Spirit Mage. Again, that's not, that's the purchase of the hero. Screw that. Scratch that out. Reaper, um, Ares, you know, Harpy Queen, Pixie, so on and so forth. People who can attack from distance, right? So, for instance, for a start lineup, okay, we're, we're gonna start from. Let's see. Let's start with a a person who is very unlucky and cannot roll a gem hero to save their lives. Okay, here's the starting six lineup that I would choose, and hopefully it helps you out. Okay, so we have Druid out here. Um, then we're gonna roll over here with. Let's see. You're you're just so unlucky. You cannot do anything. You cannot get anybody. Okay, so you get you're getting a Reaper. You have a Druid, which you get the Druid hero cards every month. Um, then you're over here. You're stuck with a Mortep. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else are you stuck with out here? Then you get stuck with um, let's see, let's see. Who else are you? Who are you? Who are you get, okay, you're getting stuck with Thunder God. Okay, Thunder God. He just won't go away. Um, let's see who else, who else we're we can be we can rock with out here. Um, let's see. So that's pretty much as far as legendaries. We need to go. Okay, so then you're, you're stuck with a succubus. Okay. We have one more hero we can work with here. Who is that gonna be? We are going to work with a. Uh, we're gonna work with a champion. What other heroes can you get out of a, out of shards? Anyways, that's it's been a while since I've. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it. You're, this is this is your starting five lineup right here. Shardable hero. These are your start starting five heroes. Okay, right here. So I would put Phantom King up there, but he is twenty thousand shards. Same with Siren. Um, I said that right. Siren, that's her name, isn't it? Siren. Oh crap. Yeah, Siren. But I'm not gonna worry about them. This is pretty much for a starting out to a person who just can't get shards. Nothing, right? This is just low amount of everything. Okay, so this is who you would start out with. Okay, so obviously on the outside you would put like a druid and a reaper. Okay. Now, whenever I say outside, I'm meaning like druid would go here outside okay so out in the corner the corners this is the corner right they would be able to attack from distance okay anyways so that's what i mean by that so druid and reaper they would be on the far most outside corners of your whatever setup you have just to um so they can attack from distance okay so the yep you got birds and freaking freaking whatever else flying in planes flying into your base attacking from a distance you want heroes like that 
Then you have a Mortep, Reap, or Mortep and uh, Thunder God, okay? They're gonna be like in the middle of your base a little bit, okay? They're gonna be in the middle of the base for here. Whenever the heroes come in, they'll be in the middle of the. And the outside heroes will attack from distance to protect the ones in the middle. That's pretty much how that'll work. Same with Succubus and Champion, okay? So that would be like a that'll be a pretty good starting six, I would say. So, anyways, so now you're getting you're a little bit luckier than what you have here, right? You're a little bit luckier than these heroes, right? A little bit luckier. So. You, you got bored one day, decided to roll your 150 gem, and you're like, oh my gosh, I got another healer. So, that would be, you wouldn't need Druid, because you would now have Golem. Let's go. You have Golem. So, Golem would obviously be a replacement for Druid, okay? And another replacement for, um, actually, no, because these are strictly uh, pretty much healers. So, Golem, replace Druid, okay? So, now we're going to go over here to Reaper. We want to re replace Reaper. So another mid, rain mid pretty good hero that would replace Reaper. Okay. So you want to say I would put like a um I would put me personally, um put Harpy Queen in there to replace Reaper. Um, let's see what else we have out here. Uh, Harpy Queen. So you're getting a little bit lucky in your gem rolls. Um, even a oh even a Warlock. A Warlock definitely to replace the Reaper. Okay, so any, like, like a warlock or a uh, a pixie, a uh, harpy queen. Let's see what else. We, we're not we're not that lucky yet to have keepers or pumpkin duke. So that's pretty much gonna be it with that. Okay, so you get harpy queen, you get a warlock, you get a pixie. You know those those sorts of heroes that are a little bit better than uh, the shardable heroes like reaper and such like that. You want to replace them. Okay, so that's that. So now we got Golem and Power Mancer, or War. I always want to call him Power Mancer. Golem and Warlock out there now. So now you have a more tap. Now you're getting freaking lucky rolls lately. I don't know what's going on with you, but you are getting lucky rolls. Um, so more tap is a area effect, like a little round, a little circle proc that stuns everybody. So if it's all if it's all possible and you get really lucky, you want to put Vlad in there. Vlad. Dracula, okay, because he is a nice stun hero, and you can, if you get really lucky, you roll him, he is in there like swimwear, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that would definitely be a hero, a little area effect proc hero that would replace a Mortep. I used a Mortep for a while, a long time, until I rolled Vlad, and he just took over, okay? So um, Vlad right there would just be, would just be perfect, okay? So Vlad in there is great. Okay, so now you are now you have your Thunder God over here. Thunder God's pretty strong and all, but you have other heroes that are stronger than him. Of course, you're getting lucky on your gem rolls. Remember, you're getting lucky. So you roll again. You're out here rolling a freaking... You got Santa. Then you have Dread Drake you can replace with. Even a Skull Knight, okay? Even a Skull Knight, it would work out. Perfect. Okay, Skull Knight would work out wonderful, actually. But um, these are just certain. These are different types of heroes you can replace. Okay, so you can use like uh, Santa, Skull Knight, uh, Dread Drake. Um, who else? Who else would be a good replacement? Um, from what I'm looking at, that would be for the most part. You got Orc Spain. Orc Spain wouldn't be that bad of a replacement, honestly. To be completely honest, Orc Spain wouldn't be that bad either. Um, so yeah, that's gonna do it for that little section there. Uh, then you and remember, you can put like you can put Vlad, like Vlad, you can put him on the outside as well. Okay, so you can put Golem would be in the middle, Warlock would be on the outside, uh, Vlad would be on the outside, Santa Boom, he could be an outside hero. And remember, area effect who can attack from distance, right? You can these are manageable on the outside. Okay, then you have these next two heroes. Obviously, you're getting extremely lucky now. Okay, you're getting extremely lucky. So you got Pumpkin Duke here, and then you also have a um, where is my? What? Am I missing? Oh my gosh. Guys, that scared me. <laughs> Valentina, what's up? What you doing over there, Valentina? Oh my god, dude. I cannot deal. Did, was there another hero totem somewhere? Don't you have two hero totems? Another one over here? Who's this? 
Another Thunder God. Dude, I can't deal with that, man. Oh my gosh. I thought I lost my freaking Valentina, man. Um, anyways. So, obviously, you put Valentina or Keep It. Either one. Um, I prefer Valentina over Keep It. So, if you have a Valentina, over Keep It. That's my opinion. So, now you have your two buff heroes here. Your Punky Duke and Valentina. So, now, you're not... That's, like, extremely lucky to get those heroes, okay? Those two, Punky Duke, Keep It, and Valentina are extremely rare. So majority of y'all might not have them, or some of y'all might not have them. So you can definitely replace. There's not really other buff heroes, okay? There's not really that, that many other buff heroes. So you can replace Pumpkin Duke and keep it with a... Um, if you have to, if you absolutely have to, let's see. Let's, let me take a look at the heroes right quick. Um, let's see, now we're getting down to our greens. Um, if you absolutely have to, guys, I would probably recommend Death Knight... Um, or if you have more than one of like Dread Drake, Skull Knight, and Santa Boom, throw them in there, mix them up. Uh, have like Santa Boom and Skull Knight in there, or Skull Knight and Dread Drake, whatever it may be. If you don't have Pumpkin Duke, Valentina, or Cupid, that is all right. Okay, so um, yeah, guys, that I think that's gonna do it. I I don't know if that helped y'all out or not, but um, if I hope y'all got the idea of where where I was going. So you start out with your lower heroes, and then if you want to switch them out. Uh, with stronger heroes, which heroes to switch out, which ones you want to keep out there. Hopefully this helped you out, okay? I really hope it did. I don't know if it did or not, but, you know, I hope it did. But that's going to do it for this video. Um, yeah, this is my main account that I, I haven't showed y'all in quite a bit. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. <laughs> this is Stridax here. Never forget, positivity attracts positivity. Stride fan for life. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Oh, that's money. Look. You're not gonna be happy. Man. You're gonna eventually. George, who is, eventually, who is you're gonna see like, oh my gosh, your money's great. It's, it's good. Is that it's champion? Good.